Good morning, students. We will continue the previous class. See here, we are discussing about the DIR in previous class. So, see, look on this diagram. I was saying about the refraction by these all rays. Now, focus on this fifth light ray, this light ray, which is coming and going to incident at this point. To that, you have to draw normal. Yes. Now, what happening? It moving from uh, uh, rarer to dense, I mean, uh, denser to rarer, it bending away. Previously, already angle of refraction becomes 90 degree. Then this light ray bending like this. Again, it keeps moving away only from normal. This line, it came like this, it got incident here. Instead of going straight, it again bent away from the normal only. But here, how it looks? Light ray came from denser medium and again it bounced back to the denser medium only. Light ray came from denser medium again deviated or bounced back to the denser medium only. Now here this we call as a total internal reflection. This we call as total internal reflection. Why total? Actually, here there is no 100% reflection or refraction phenomena. When we discussing about the reflection phenomena, at that time, some less amount of light even getting there transmitting through that and we call it as refracted light ray. When we are discussing about reflection phenomena, there you will be getting one medium, their lower side is being with painted. When light is going to hit on that, it bouncing back. How much light is bouncing back? Near about 90% is going to bounce back. Some 10% of light even transmitting through that. There is no 100% reflection. Similarly, while talking about the refraction phenomena, during refraction we use transparent materials. And see, in those, through those transparent material, materials, light rays are passing. They are passing. How much passing here? Almost more than 90. Some, even some light rays are reflecting. Some light rays are reflecting during the refraction. What I mean to say, say here, concentrate, what they mean. When this light ray, it got incident here. Maximum amount of light got refracted. Near about 90% refracted. Only 10% somewhere here got reflected. This we call as a partially reflected light ray. What? Partial. Some amount only got reflected. Major amount got refracted. For this, this light, again major amount got refracted. Some less amount got reflected. This is reflected. Again, this is partially reflected light. Again, for this, see here, major amount grazed along that surface it moved. Very less amount got refracted. I mean, reflected. Very less amount reflected. You see here. One, two, three. These three we call as partially reflected light rays. Partially. Major portion of light got refracted. Some amount only got reflected. But at here, what happening? Why we call totally internally reflected light? What, it, what this case telling us? Title only is here. The title of this concept is here. That uh, total incident light got reflected back to the 
same medium from which it came. This incident light ray is coming from denser medium and it totally reflected back to that denser medium only. This phenomena we called as total internal reflection. Getting what I mean? Total, here these three are partially reflected and this one is, to, I have written here, totally reflected ray. Getting what I mean to say? This TIR is going to happen with some conditions. Later we discuss condition. But try to understand what happened here. Here, at one particular position, for one particular angle, light ray got totally reflected back. This phenomena we called as a total internal reflection. How we have to define, define this TIR? They may ask question. Define TIR. The bouncing here is the bouncing back of the light to the denser medium. The bouncing back of the light to the denser medium from from the interface of this denser medium and rarer medium is called as TIR. Try to understand it is very beautiful statement. What I mean? The bouncing back of the light to the denser medium, bouncing back to the denser medium from 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 interface of this denser medium and rarer medium is called as total internal reflection. Have you understood this what mean TIR? It is very important that happened when, when we place the object in denser medium. Mean when light rays are coming from denser medium. That one only when it happened that we call as a T condition. See here, this is about TIR. After this TIR, see now concentrate. I have written the title Conditions for Total Internal Reflection. To get light back to the same medium, to get that light back to the same medium, there should be two conditions. Which are those conditions? You see here, first condition. This is also very important. They will ask two more questions. Write the conditions of TIR in board exam. Very important. At that time, you have to mention. See here, first one. Light ray should travel from denser medium to rarer medium. This is very important. Light ray should travel from denser medium to rarer medium. Why? Instead of batting the statement, try to get why light should always come from denser to rarer. If it is moving from rarer to denser, then what will happen? Think like that. You see here, light ray object we placed in denser medium. So, light rays, these all light rays came from this object. I mean, these all are coming from denser medium and hitting on that interface and they getting refracting. I mean light is moving from denser to rarer. Because of this denser to rarer, at every point of incidence, light keeps moving away from the normal. Because of movement of light from denser to rarer, everywhere refracted light keeps moving away from the normal moving away because of this keeping moving away finally light got reflected back see try to get see here in this first case this refracted light ray was moved i mean it was moving away from this normal it bent away from normal here also it bent away from normal because of movement of light from denser to rarer. 
and here also it bent away and finally here also it bent away from the normal and it looks reflected back to the denser medium came from denser bounced back to the denser this happened because of the movement of rain from denser to rarer that to because of keeping bending away look here here bent away bent away bent away this happening only when light is moving from denser to rarer suppose if you reverse you reverse the medium take this as a rarer and this as a denser if light is coming from rarer to denser it keeps bending bending towards the normal towards the normal that said then there is no question of bouncing back of the light back into that medium that's why first condition is what light ray should travel from denser medium to rarer medium then only finally that incident light ray is going to bounce back into the same denser medium this is first condition of tir very important don't by heart try to get why have you understood this is first condition then second condition is that what that second condition there we written here i have written angle of incidence must be greater than critical angle what this critical angle we already discussed what this second condition telling the angle of incidence in that denser medium should be greater than critical angle see here look on this diagram as angle of incidence going on increases for one particular angle of incidence in that denser medium angle of refraction in the rarer medium is going to become 90 degree going to become 90 degree for this angle angle of refraction is 90 degree if further if you increase a small amount in angle of incidence further after this critical angle if you increase a small value in the angle of incidence what will happen angle of refraction is also going on increases it was 90 it will become above 90 if it become above 90 then what it looks how it looks it looks bounced back then you call it as a tir it is what i mean to say see for this particular critical angle refraction becomes 90 degree if you further increase a little in that angle of incidence angle of refraction also going to increase then that light looking like totally bounced back to that denser medium only so at that time what we say that light totally reflected back so that we call as a tir total internal reflection so to get out that that angle of incidence in that denser medium should be greater than that critical angle so that be the second condition for tir okay these two are the conditions of total internal reflection so now after this one, see here we talking about one small relation what that relation this is also very important and very uh, useful equation while solving the numericals while solving the numericals we will be using this equation very important what is this you see relation between refractive index and critical angle relation between refractive index and critical angle look here it is denser medium above rarer medium that is air okay air refractive what we find in relation between refractive index of this denser medium and its critical angle critical angle is being in which medium that being in denser medium only 
so now here we are finding the what is the relation between refractive index of the denser medium and its critical angle ok now you see here that critical angle we represented with the symbol C capital C ok then small n we will be using later again to represent the refractive index just you see here look on this diagram this one only this one only I have taken this particular diagram I have taken there we are talking about critical angle this one which light ray this one fourth light ray for this angle of incidence angle of refraction becomes 90 degree this incidence I have drawn here see there denser medium there this is denser medium their refractive index I have taken as N1 N1 is the refractive index of this denser medium ok yes light ray from that object moving like this obliquely and it got incident here and it moved away from the normal this is normal ok this point of incidence to this point of incidence this is normal and this light ray after refraction moved away so angle of refraction becomes 90 degree that particular angle of incidence we called as critical angle ok yes now concentrate it's a very simple one light like move from denser to rarer ok n1 and n2 are the refractive index of those medium respectively according to Snell's law what that Snell's law is telling very important there we have represented sin i by sin r is equal to n2 by n1 is constant ok sin r by sin r is equal to n2 by n1 even we taken it as n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r see here that I have written Snell's law n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r n1 ok sin i i is the angle of incidence ok yes now you concentrate I have taken n1 here and n2 there from which medium light is coming their refractive index you have to take as n1 to which it is moving you have to take it as n2 getting what I mean to say according to Snell according to his that statement from which medium light is coming their ri I mean that medium you have to treat as first medium from which light is coming that medium you have to treat as first medium to which or through which medium light entering that you have to take as second medium I mean angle of incidence is being in the first medium angle of refraction is being in the second medium that is very important ok yes now you see here now our incidence is here in denser medium so there are you have to take as n1 first medium refraction is happening in rarer medium so that medium you treat as n2 very simple from which light coming take as first medium through which it is moving take as second medium yes this is first medium second now n1 sin i equal to n2 sin r n1 i have written as usual sign of angle of incidence here in place of i I have taken c that we already called as critical angle ok critical angle yes equal to n2 sin r angle of refraction is 90 degree here I have written ok yes as usual I have written this one equal to n2 as usual I have written what about sin 90 sin 90 is 1 so see here ok sin 90 is 1 then here I have written in place of i I have written c because both are equal here r I have written 90 degree then you take this n to this side and send this sin c that side what will happen 
L1 by L2 is equal to 1 divided by sin c. L1 by L2 is equal to 1 by sin c. Yes, B here. Then now one small consideration. What I have written? If N1 is N, means what? The refractive index of that denser medium, you have to treat as small n. It is what I mean to say. Just consideration it is. Refractive index of that denser medium is N and N2. I mean that second medium, if it is air, if that uh, second medium is air, then the refractive index of that air is 1. Okay, A refractive index of air is 1. That I have taken, L2 is equal to 1. That we treat as air medium. Yes. Now you take these N1 equal to N and N2 equal to 1 in that previous one. In place of N1, you place that N and divided by N2 means 1. N, N by 1, that is N, equal to 1 by sin C. N equal to 1 by sin C. Our title is relation between refractive index of that medium and critical angle in it. Critical angle is C. Refractive index of that medium we treated as small n. So now, what is the relation between N and C? Here this equation is telling that N is equal to N equal to 1 by sin C. N equal to 1 by sin C. This is a very important uh, relation, a very important relation. We should know this relation. Okay, while solving the problem, you be conscious that N means refractive index of that denser medium and C means critical angle which is existing in that denser medium. Okay, this is about the relation between refractive index and critical angle. After this,